Arduino Pro here. I got a buying guide for you today. Help you figure out which Arduino to buy and how much they cost and what to use them for. Uh, first up here, we got a DigiSpark Kickstarter Tiny85. This is a great little board. I really like this board a lot. I use it all the time. I don't necessarily recommend it if it's your first time using an Arduino because it's got a little a bunch of quirks to it, but it's very good for small projects and projects like wearables and things that you need the smallest board possible. It doesn't have a lot of I.O. pins on it, so you're going to only be able to hook up a few buttons and a few outputs to it. Here's the chip it runs off of. It's an ATtiny85. Uh, you can actually program these and use these and save some money once you get a little bit better. But it's a good, it's a good chip, pretty common. Up next is the uh, Arduino Leonardo. Uh, there's a Pro on the left, it's $3.75, then the standard one on the right. Uh, they're the same board, except that the, you can't really fit shields onto these. I don't necessarily recommend these for very beginning projects either, because these are really specialized for human interface devices, like simulating a mouse, or a keyboard, or a joystick, something like that. Um, they've got some issues when dealing with uh, serial communications. And they don't have built-in uh, USB hardware, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Here's a standard. It, it's the same thing. It, it can just take shields. You can see it also uses a micro USB port on it to program it, um, but it's a good board. Up next is the AT Mega 328P based boards. These are going to be your uh, Arduino Nano, your Arduino Pro, and then just the microcontrollers themselves. I'm just showing you for reference. You can see on the bottom of this board there's a second chip. That's for hardware USB. That's one of the reasons why I recommend these boards. Um, and then you can see it's got the 328P on top. This is definitely the best board for most projects. Um, shields do not fit on this, but you can solder pins onto it and this will plug into breadboard for prototyping, which is really nice. Um, and you can plug a shield into that, so you can still figure out a way to get a shield to work with it. Here's the dual inline package, just showing off the, uh, the microcontroller unit. Uh, they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes, which we call packages. Uh, here's a dip package. It's a dual inline pin because there's pins on the left and right. So there, this is a TQFP package. This is for more advanced users. Um, that for so it's going to be difficult to work with with hand tools. But these are all basically the same. Here's the Pro Mini. Uh, this is another really great board that I recommend for most projects. It's the same as the Nano. It just doesn't have USB built into it. So you're going to have to program this with a USB to serial device. Uh, there's a lot of those devices out there. They're called like FTDI boards or um, USB to serial boards. I'll show you one here in a moment right here. Uh, basically, this board just plugs into any type of Arduino that does not have uh, USB, and you use this, and then you plug that USB in your computer, and that's how you program it. Once it's programmed, you can disconnect it and run it. These boards are nice once you have developed your software. You can flash it onto these and save a little bit of room if you don't need USB uh, pro, uh, serial communications or USB programming. Uh, because you've already got your program complete. I definitely recommend these two for most projects. It's an Arduino Uno. It's actually a fake one. Uh, I don't recommend buying this. I'm just showing you this to show you that there is some garbage out there. So you got to be careful. Uh, it doesn't even have the proper microcontroller on it. So uh, just avoid like strange things like that. Up next is the AT Mega 2560. Um, they are also called the Arduino Mega 2560. This uses uh, another 8-bit microcontroller, but it's bigger because it has a lot more features to it. It's got a lot more uh, flash space for programs. It's got a lot more RAM, a lot more input-output pins, so you can hook up a whole bunch more buttons and LEDs and motors and things like that. It's got more timers on it. This one on the left is the Pro one. It's a little bit cheaper, it's like 13 bucks, uh, but you're gonna need to use that FTDI board again to program it, and it's a little harder to work with. This one's a real nice one. Um, this one's pretty common also. This one's uh, larger. It has all the pins you need to plug shields in. 
Um, it also has built-in hardware USB, so it works for all sorts of USB modes. The only issue is, is that the USB plug on the front is kind of big, so you're going to make sure you need to have a printer cable to, that plugs into that. But again, yeah, it has all the pins for shields. Here's some bonus hardware. These are non-standard Arduino boards, but they're becoming more and more compatible. They're based off the ESP8266. These are great uh, microcontrollers. The only difference is, is the memory. The flash memory is stored off to the side, so you uh, can customize how much flash memory you want it to have, but you do have to keep in mind that it's separate. However, when you're programming with Arduino, you won't really notice. The other great feature is they have built-in Wi-Fi. They're also pretty cheap for what you get. They're around $2, um, depending on which module you get, and they are very powerful, 32-bit. They're clocked at a very high speed, uh, you know, 70 megahertz or so, 72 megahertz. So these are definitely going to be uh, much faster. Here's another 32-bit board. It's STM32. This is also clocked pretty high. And for the price, you get a lot of stuff. Um, you know, it's fast. It's got a lot of flash storage, a lot of RAM compared to what you get with a lot of controllers. So hopefully these are the way uh, things will be moving towards in the future. And again, this one you have to program with the FTDI board. So hopefully this helped you out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions below, and I'll try and answer them. All right, thanks a lot.